Welcome back everybody. Today we're looking at an update to the LTXV video pack. It's going to be version 7. I've included a new text to video and a new image to video and also the string painting for variation, so video variation. I've also found a way to make it consistent because it is a little bit more sensitive than the previous version. If you don't want to miss my next video, hit that subscribe button because YouTube ain't going to tell you. So we're going to be talking about LTX Video 2B V0.9.1 and you can grab that from the official Lightrix Hugging Face. Grab that, put it in your checkpoints folder in your models inside Comfy and then you're going to have to update the Comfy UI LTX Video custom nodes, right? And there's a lot of information about it all here. But essentially, they've integrated a whole bunch of stuff which we use, were previously using custom nodes for. So that's nice. Um, I don't know whether the model is like been additionally had additional training, but you can see here they've given they've saying removes the strobing texture artifacts, generates better motion, STG support, which as I said, you needed uh, LTX tricks for that. Integrated image de degradation system. Um, which is the uh, CRF trick. I don't know if you guys are familiar with that, but now what you can do is you can change the image compression right here on the model configurator. So before you had to like load the video and then compress it and then load it as a single frame. Uh, anyway, anyway, we don't have to do that anymore. It's all It's all built in. So you can just select the compression here and that's going to noise the video. It's all explained in the notes. What I've done is I've rearranged and brought in line uh, this with the current um, uh, example. So if I've basically re rewritten my entire workflow. As you can see, I've got the Zenkai prompt system in. So if you don't want that, you just need to disconnect it from here and type type in here. You just go right click input to widget. That's all you need to do. Um, but it's currently set up so that you can do the string painting here if you want to. There is another version of this which says variation, okay? Um, and that one is actually going to have everything set by default. So you've got this on fixed and you've got this on fixed. And the trick to get it to actually work was to restrict the randomization to 0 to 500 range from the seed that you have selected there. So that stops it from being... Uh, like I said, it was a bit squirrely. It was almost like... Very, it, was, it was giving video variation, but it wasn't giving consistent variation and so i had to dial it back using the range here which is what it's for okay i've never needed to explain it because we've never needed to really use it for anything i do think that there's probably some fine tuning the community could do with the actual parameters because <laughs> they're a little bit off what i've done is i've used the settings that we've been using up until now um to create this workflow so i think the chain main change i did was the rescale um, other than that, oh, and put it onto Eula instead of Ancestral. I've also reduced it to three seconds by default because things tend to fall apart if you go too far. And then I turned the compression down to 19, which means it's not doing any compression, right? So you can obviously do that if you want. If you see the default value is 19, so I reduced it to that. Um, and that's about it, really. So this is a complete overhaul of the workflows. You will find them in... Uh, DJZ Workflows, Zoda LTXV Video Pack, and there's a folder V7091, which indicates version 7 of the pack, version 091 of the model. And that gives you text-to-video, image-to-video, and text-to-video variation. So let's just take a look at my image-to-video. As you can see here, we've put in one of my generated Space Marine box art covers. And as you can see right here, what we've got is we've got the uh, I've, I've left in the Florence to run because it's perfectly fine to use it. And also they've given us a nice little thing. What this is doing is any caption that was created, the words image, photo, painting and illustration will get swapped out for video. So that's just a token substitution. But also it's going to end it's going to add this as a suffix. Now, you could always do that with my, um, if we go back to my other one, you can add that as a suffix here if you really want to. But the, the LTXV video 
uh, prompts that I have in my prompt list, they already have suffixes at the end, which this model understands. So there's no need to add that there. But you could have done it that way. But this is just another way to do a string, like I say, string manipulation. So we've got here, uh, scene is captured in real life footage. So that's how that's going to work. And then as you can see, we end up with this. The only difference with this one is I have left the image compression at 29, which is quite high. And that's the default recommended by the uh, by the authors. It works quite well. I mean, I mean, obviously your mileage may vary because different seeds may produce more or less movement. There's also a couple of other things. We can change the uh, attention layer, which it's going to be working on. And there's a little, uh, I've left all of the notes in. So that if you want to learn more, it's all just included. Um, but essentially what we've done is we've reorganized it, added the project subdirectory uh, feature that I have in all my workflows, uh, made it go from left to right. So it's linear now. Everything's in order and tidied up. Um, but we've kept a whole bunch of stuff because, well, frankly, it works really well. So why bother changing it? You know, I will say that even on my system, um, we were seeing a time of about 14 minutes to load the model up first time. Now, again, you might see at that being faster or slower, depending on your system setup. Um, but I would say it's always good to keep that in mind. So if you find that you are loading the clip or loading the model for a long time, uh, don't worry, don't panic. Just go and get a drink and uh, give it a good 10, 15 minutes. Once it's actually loaded, it's lightning fast like usual. It's just that in current version of Comfy, it's, uh, there's a long delay for the first time. I'd call it the cold start. Once the engine's warm, it's going to be seconds. So it takes 20 seconds to do four seconds. Um, and then, you know, linear scaling down as you get back down to like two seconds for eight seconds and so on. All right. So that's pretty much the whole thing. Obviously, you're going to find LTX Video Pack V7. That's going to be the one which uh, is up on Civit. That's just been released. And then you'll be able to find it in my DJZ workflows. So if you're a Git cloner, you can just clone and uh, you can just do a Git, update, a Git pull on your workflow pack and it will bring in the new versions for you like that. Just remember, you do have to update the custom nodes. All right. So don't skip on that. Um and like I said, you should be good to go. So there's three new workflows. The text to video, uh, one of them doesn't have this, or rather it does have this, but it's not activated. Okay. So, you know, uh, unless you put it onto fixed seed and fixed prompt seed, you're not really going to see variation. So just bear that in mind. But they're essentially the same workflow, the variation and the text to video. And then the image to video workflow is not, it doesn't have the um, the variation because I figure that you don't really need it because you're doing image to video from this. So it's going to be a consistent variation every time anyway. So it's kind of pointless to put my variation feature on the image to video side. So that's it. That's everything for you. Quick update. Thank you very much. And I'll see you next time.